All right, so I think we're pretty much done here, except for one little piece of functionality that I wanted to, uh, to implement, and that was the uh, auto complete box. Where are you? Auto suggest box, okay. And I wanted to be able to do searches, and um, then also when somebody submits the actual search, it would perform the query and refine down the items in the results to just those that match the, the criteria. So really just the name. All right, so to implement this, we have two methods or two events to handle, the text change and the query submitted. So let's go ahead and get started in there. And what we're going to need is uh, another, let's stick it in the middle here between these two, Another, uh, I think this time it's just going to be a list of string called suggestions. And uh, I'll populate the suggestions with whatever we get back from. Uh, so let's see. So what we're going to do here is actually just set suggestions equal to the sound manager dot get all sounds I see that it's not really implemented quite that way so what I'll need to do here is actually change up how I was thinking about doing this um, let's get all sounds and let's pass in just sounds like that right and then we'll go uh, suggestions equal to uh, sounds dot um, where uh, given p find p uh, name starts with and then whatever they have passed in so I think at this point we can get um, text that has been typed in from sender dot text all right, so once we have this, all we really want is just the name itself, not the entire sound object. So I'm just going to um, project out just the, the name property like that. And uh, it doesn't like something I've done here. And I think I know why. So let me change this. Um, I can do this one of two ways. I can keep list. And just go, I think, to list here. Yeah, to list. Or I could just change this to I enumerable instead of list. All right, but we'll just do it this way. So now that I have suggestions, I'm going to set the um, the search auto suggest box item source equal to suggestions. Okay. All right, yeah, this will work. All right, so now that we've typed in what we, uh, the, the word and I've hit entered on my keyboard, I need to handle the query submitted. So this will, um, allow us to actually filter the items that we're binding to. So that list of suggestions should be filtered all the way down. So, um, and so what I think I want to do here is make another, um, another method on sound manager to um, do some like cert public static void get sounds by uh, name maybe and then just type in a string name something like that we can do almost everything that we've done before and then um, we'll grab a filtered set of sounds dot where p p dot name equals um, name and we'll do a two list on whoops two list on that and then um, I guess what I probably should do is um, 
do an observable collection. So observable collection sounds. sounds. I know this isn't pretty, uh, but this sometimes when you're in development, you have to think through things on the fly here. So uh, I guess the last step would be then to go uh, filter sounds dot do that whole for each thing, right? P P um, sounds dot add P. All right. See if that works. So then back here in main page does MLSES. I'm gonna call sound manager dot get sounds by name. I'm gonna pass in sounds and then the um, sender dot text should give me what was typed into that uh, auto search auto suggest box. And um, I think that's all I'm gonna need to do. Yeah, I might um, I might do some of this stuff though here. So I'm gonna set all sounds to whatever center.txt is. Um, menu list item selected item equals null, that's correct. Back button visibility should be visible. Like that. Okay, so let's see if this works the way that I had in mind. All right, so cat, it didn't filter the list. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Let me set a breakpoint there and figure out what I did wrong. Let's go cow. All right, so let's step in. Ah, uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to take that step right there. I'll bet you that's the problem. So let's add that. Like there, and then let's try this again. All right, cow. And I'm just going to blow through it and see if it works. It does. I hit back. I got all sounds. Let's go. Gun. You know, the one thing I would like to do is clear out the box uh, after I'm done with it. Let me do that one thing. The query submitted. All right, so then I should be able to go uh, search auto su suggest box text equals nothing. Let's see if that works. Let me get rid of the breakpoint. Now, ideally, before we move into the next part of getting ready to submit, I would do a lot of testing test on physical devices, test on different desktops, just whoever I could get to help me out here. Uh, let's go ship. Enter. I uh, see that the problem here is that the order of events, right? Um, it will by making that change. It will actually um, it'll rerun the query submitted a second time. So I can't put that this line of code. I can't put it there. What I can do, however, is. Maybe put it there when we hit the back button or whenever we make a different selection on the menu list. Let me put that there as well. So those two spots, let's see what happens. State management's usually tricky. You've got to think, okay, what needs to be where and when? Also, it looks like I need a little padding on the right there or margin on the right. Okay, here we go. Cow. Got it. I use back button. See, it, I can see it flicker, which tells me that it's running it twice. Hmm. I'm not sure what the right answer to this is. Uh, so watch, watch the issue here. Okay, cat, good. Now when I click something else, you'll notice that there's a brief, it'll display everything, then there's a flicker, and then you'll, it'll display everything. It goes dot dot before it hit taunts and it doesn't even show all taunts because again we've by setting the text like that um, we're actually changing the logic of the code so I might just need to do this like that and just forget it there probably is a way to suppress that event 
Uh, and I'll tell you what, off camera, I'll try to figure out if I can figure out a way to fix that. So if I were to hit X there, put everything, but it doesn't change that either. So there's a couple little issues surrounding this that I need to figure out. So I'm going to stop right here, and I'm actually going to um, play around with this a little bit more before we go into the next video and maybe fix some things about it. But uh, overall, it, it kind of works. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll pick it up in the next video, and we'll start um, working with assets and talk about the package Apex Manifest. All right. All right. So thank you.